Hello people, this is the Black Love Gamer and this is the VR Gaming Update Minute. Let's jump in. Now first up, Swords of Gargantua. This event started July 31st at 2 a.m. and will be shutting down soon, August 14th, 8 a.m. Did that again, 8 a.m. PT time. Now this event is called He Who Peaks From The Abyss. If you wanna do this, go ahead and go to the event, go to that challenge with the title. You'll fight a number of soldiers to be able to unlock the Abyss Shield. One of the winners of the Shield Design Contest uh, made the shield, so you go ahead and do the event, you can own the shield also. Now, next up, once more, we are in Orbis VR Reborn. Currently, you have the Summer Festival going on, so if you're a fan of fishing, you can go ahead and check out the event person that's going to be outside of High Step, over by the dummies. You'll see many people hitting dummies, and the event person will be there before you can start the event. You're going to be collecting items, fishing, and whatnot, and, and, and lot, unlocking all types of achievements. Now, at the same time, we have the Explore the Realm event. This event will be running through to, I believe, October 27th. It'll already be in your journal, already be activated, and all you have to do, look in your journal, see with, uh, what enemies you'll have to destroy for the week, bosses, and what resources you, you collect, and you would take out to Hellfine Base and Bat Bass and Hellfine. You go out to Hellfine. And you'll go turn in the stuff over there. So, <laughs> so um, all the points that you get will go towards unlocking different things for yourself and also to help unlock the new island that will hopefully be available. So, uh, right here is uh, the things you'll be able to unlock, some of the things you'll be able to unlock for yourself. There's also been new uh, enemies, uh, like dead looking people walking around. They want to be part of a summer event for they can like deteriorate fast. Ah, but yeah, they're out there too. You got you got it. You got numerous and en new enemies out there, and um, I guess that's how they're feeling. They're feeling like they want to. They they feel like they're a Halloween event in summer. But yeah, so this uh, like I said, this, this is what you'll be able to uh, achieve. Also. Here's how far we've gotten. I don't believe I should have said gotten, but this is how far we have. Whatever. What I don't. This is like my fifth time. I'm tired. Okay, but this is how far we are, and we have further more to go. Yeah, how about that? Yeah, yeah, that's how we're gonna do this. So, um, if you wanna, if you wanna go ahead and help out, I'm gonna be helping out even more because I haven't really been helping out that much. I've been doing other things. But I, I got some points in there too. I, I moved it a smidgen like 0 0.01. This week it'll be 0 0.08. You watch and see. You watch and see. But yeah. We're, we're really we're really gonna move it. So check it out. The event, like I said, the event will be going on in October. There's little things here. Uh, other stuff here and there that's been added. <clears throat> New space in your... Uh, your storage chest. There's been uh, new items uh, like that. We got the, the experience. Like we have global. I'm saying global like this is the entire world. We have global boost now. It's crazy. Mount speed, luck, and experience. So if um, like I said, jump on in. Okay, last up is Alicia, a VR MMORPG from Team 21 Studio. Currently, it's in alpha. If you want to experience it, what they have going on, they have a, a tier system on their Patreon page that will be linked below. So, as far as the page is concerned, it seems like if you wanna actually experience the game, if you get silver, you're only gonna be able to play the first Friday of each month. Then they have a gold membership. In the gold tier, you'll be able to play the second 
and four Fridays of each month. So uh, by the time this even goes up, uh, the, I will be getting the gold tier. And shoot, let me see what's what's today's date. So this I'm all right. So yeah, I guess the fourteenth I'll be able to check the alpha out and I'll be able to you know have my thoughts on it. Uh, from what I saw in the video and well a couple of videos, everything is like gesture based as far as like the spells and stuff which is interesting now as far as the title it has several different kingdoms you'll be able to go to those kingdoms will have their own bosses and quests and they'll they're also going to have little events and things that that happen throughout the game we'll see uh, i'm very interested i want to know how the how is the is it a, going to be a class system? Is this going to be something that's going to be similar to um, Morrowind, perhaps? Where you can just make your own, do your own thing? Because as far as when you're reading everything for the title, you don't, I don't see anything having to do with classes. Not saying they don't exist. I'm just saying if, the class, if there is a class system, it's not really explained right now. But as far as your player home, it's called a caravan. And you can do it the way that you want to, you know, set everything up. And other people will actually be able to come inside and, and view your your furniture that may or may not be there. It depends on what type of lifestyle you lead. It may just be a refrigerator and a toilet. That could be all that's inside of your home. You know, just the bare essentials because you can sleep on the floor. <laughs> but uh, either way, the links for the Patreon and stuff for this will be up here. And links for uh, information on the leaderboards and whatnot for Orbis BR will be available for you also. So, this is the Black Love Gamer. Like, share, subscribe, all that great stuff. And I'm out.